Hi. Good evening. I do thank you for tuning in to Poem Praise 2. I certainly hope that peace and blessings have been upon you this day. And I'm coming at you to tell you something short, sweet, and straight to the point. Uh, the topic I would like to talk about today is public and private school. Now, certainly due to the fact that I have actual experience on both sides with public and private. Now, it is true that with private schools, you do like have the tuition. You could possibly get a scholarship to lower your tuition amount, but you're actually still going to pay a tuition. Now, hmm, let's think of this like a business. If your kid is in public school, for example, let's just uh, break it off into money matters, okay? You have a hundred dollars let's say a hundred dollars a month one times twelve that's twelve hundred if we do two times twelve that's twenty four hundred but if you take that in regards to being like ten years you do that without touching it guess what by the time your kid get ready to get out of high school you'll have some money now for college let's think about a vision and a plan okay you get some money and you get the kid instead of getting the kid a car give them a plot of land and uh you got the deed so you can actually start building in regards to uh, not just blessing a kid with a house now that'd be nice a house a car and some land oh okay gotta have the vision in regards to that because i'm thinking to myself if you can pay in regards to the private schools budget yourself to to pay them like you're paying all your other bills. Hmm. Can you get an account and put money in an account and don't touch it and let it gain interest? So therefore, instead of you starting off with a hundred, it gains some interest. And then the next thing you know, it just starts building and building and building. I mean, uh, almost like the saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. Hmm. So if you're working on something and you're building something, it's going to take time. You're not just going to be able to just snap your fingers like you, um, what should I think of? The teenage witch, I don't know, her twiggling her nose, bewitch, remember when she used to twinkle her nose and carry on? And be like, boom, and it, it was happening, or I dream a genie. She'd be like, yes, master, boom, and you know, hey, hey, that was a TV show. That's not even real reality. That was somebody's imagination in regards to that coming to fruition. So if you can have the imagination with TV, hmm, go to creator, yes, get the, get the master plan, hmm, from the creator, and in regards to starting now for planning for the future, because certainly if you have a different mindset than your previous predecessors, if you have a different mindset Hmm. It may be hard, but you're going to have to push. You're going to have to push yourself through it. Believe me, I, I may be telling you and encouraging myself too as it's coming out on Poem Praise too, for real though. But I'm just trying to let you know. Hmm. <clears throat> just think about it because this is just something to just make you think. Public, private. Okay, my kid can be in public, but I can actually set up money like it is a private. And it could be my private money for my child private school fund for my child not instead of getting them shoes use the money for the shoes and put it up but I really 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 want them shoes how about you sacrifice the shoes in order for the vision and then all of a sudden you have the plan you tell your child the plan because if you're an architect you're gonna have to show them the blueprints of what it is that you're planning so you can have something visual, something tangible, something you can touch, you know, so you, you can see it. Oh, okay. So we, from this point right here, you're saving. You got this much now, and you're going to have this much in the future. How much do you want to have? And then next thing you know, you're actually teaching them saving. You're teaching them business. You're starting your own school within a school. Hmm. 
Yeah, certainly. Because if you're trying to break something, something that's reoccurring for after decade, after decade, after century, after century, I don't think it's going to be easy. Mm -mm. But guess what I just said? Rome wasn't built in a day. So guess what? This is just a little motivation for you in regards to me talking about the public versus the private schools. But in regards to how you use the money to pay for that. Hmm. Can you use the same concept and pay for something else? The same concept and develop something else to have a vision and view of what is going on over here and bring that on over here and what do you know you done catapults and started something brand new mm -hmm. it all starts with a thought and now it's up to you me too here on Poem Praise 2, to put it into action. All right. Let's get it cracking. Go on, get it into action. And I will holler at you later here on Poem Praise 2. Be blessed. And later, y'all.